Hi, Jana here with HSRA. This module is for you as home stagers working with staging companies. It's also good for you as the business owner to understand and train up your stagers so that when they are in properties, they know how to deal with objections or challenges that can happen during the stage. So let's break down some of these challenges, lessons learned over the years through many staging companies, some of the best practices to put into play, and we're calling it overcoming objections for our stagers as their staging properties. Um, many, many things can happen, as you know, whenever you're staging um, an occupied home or a vacant home. So let's take some of these. Uh, they will apply to both. Um, some will only apply when we're working in vacant properties. And since that's what majority of people are doing, let's look at that. You know, in your agreement, it does need to state that um, the home needs to be unoccupied during the staging setup. And why do we want that? Well, it is for the protection of your team. It is for the safety, the security, and the efficiency. Of course, we know we can work a lot quicker and get that home staged when no one is in that vacant property. So think about what you would say on the phone before the staging occurs. Now, this is for your sales team, um, your office staff to understand, you know, once a contract come in, comes in, we let them know. Now, for the safety and security of our team, we request that the home be unoccupied from the hours of 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. during our staging days. And that might be, you know, up to a two-day period, a three-day period if it's a larger home. But you want to verbally explain that as well as um, explain it in the contract, okay? So have that stipulation there. So it's written, um, it's real, as well as it's verbal um, whenever you are uh, working with them. Say the stagers are staging a property and someone walks in. Um, then what we need to do is train our stagers on what to say when it comes to those situations. And of course, we have um, your resources here that you can print out and use and adapt them, implement them, customize them for your company. Um, but this is a situation where we want to let them know, um, you know, our team recognizes that uh, um, we're here to stage, and so we want to make sure that um, they are protected. So if someone comes in, and it can happen every now and then, uh, we want them to welcome and just say, hi, we're Model My Home. Uh, we're here to stage this property. Um, for the safety and security of our team, uh, we request that no one else is in the home. If you can come back, we're going to be finished at 5 o'clock today, and the home will be then available for any um, contract work, uh, follow-up there, pictures, um, tours, all of that good stuff. Now, it always comes back to does your team feel safe while they are in the home and they're staging? If the answer is no, if they do not feel safe, then they immediately need to stop and exit the property. And that comes back to our staging uh, safety training. It's very imperative that if they don't feel comfortable, they are to immediately leave and contact the office um, so that that can be established and dealt with right then. Um, so that, it, you know, of course, if an agent is coming in and um, they're doing a tour of the home and it's being staged at the same time, uh, they can decide, okay, we're going to go ahead and stage. We're going to let them do the tour. That would be really a one-off that we would say, go ahead and let them do that because we don't want to stop a sale of the property. We just explained, hi, we're the staging company. We're just excuse us. We're going to stay out of your way. Um, please excuse the mess. And you guys look at the home and, uh, and they're going to be nice and um, and you know you guys uh, with your team that is also an opportunity for you to earn more business it's a great marketing so if it is contractors and if it is someone that's just coming in and they do not feel safe um, then we need to immediately call the office that stager needs to call the office and then the um, office needs to call the client maybe that's an investor that didn't finish up some projects and we thought it was finished 
they need to have that conversation and have everyone exit the property until uh, a certain time that it is back, open back up. Obviously, we want all those projects done beforehand because we don't want our staging messed up at the end um, if someone's coming in and touching up paint and those type things. So ask those questions before you stage. Have someone in the office give a 24-hour call in advance, ensuring all the projects are complete, the home is ready to be set up, and then um, you're good to go. Sometimes the contractor doesn't delay or delays that and doesn't um, defer the message to the actual seller. And oh yeah, it looks great. And the seller thinks that everything's in place, but when you show up, it's not. So make sure that your stagers know how to to deal with those difficult situations if someone is in the home. Let's say that it's the seller that actually comes in and disrupts the staging. How do we handle that? Well, your stagers are going to have to do the same situation, be very professional, and let them know that we are here to uh, stage the property and for the safety and the efficiency of our team, the home will be ready for viewing at 5 p.m. We always just pick a later date when we know we're gonna be done um, with the staging. We hope you've enjoyed this featured module. To gain access to the full resource and over 150 modules just like this, click the link below.